The Pilatus PC24 features an FMS speed mode, which reduces pilot workload by automatically calculating aircraft speeds for each phase of flight. This video describes the FMS speed schedule for aircraft with Load 5 software. Refer to the Honeywell Pilot's Guide for the most up-to-date information. For details on the manual speed mode or the auto throttle system itself, refer to the video Thrust Management System on the Pilatus PC24. When the speed knob is set to FMS, the speed bug is removed from the speed tape and instead an FMS speed arrow points to the calculated speed. The speed is also displayed numerically above the speed tape. The flight director and auto throttle systems will target this speed if they are engaged. The FMS calculated speed considers a variety of factors including phase of flight, aircraft configuration, altitude, and distance from departure and destination airports. FMS speeds should not be used during single engine operation. Before using the FMS speed mode, it's important that pilots have a thorough understanding of how the mode functions. Let's look at a typical flight to see the FMS speed mode in operation. Before takeoff, the FMS speed bug is set to V2 if it was entered on the departure tab. During the takeoff, once the aircraft accelerates past V2, the bug moves to V2 plus 10 knots. As the aircraft climbs above 400 feet and either the flight director vertical mode changes or the flaps are retracted, 170 knots becomes the new speed target. As the aircraft passes through 2,500 feet AGL and is more than four nautical miles from the departure runway, the target speed accelerates to 200 knots for the climb to altitude. At any time, the pilot can select a manual target speed by rotating the FMS manual knob to manual. If a manual speed is selected, the speed bug is displayed on the airspeed tape. However, the FMS speed target is displayed using a white arrow. This way, the pilot always knows what speed the FMS will target if FMS speed mode is selected. As the aircraft continues the climb to altitude, the FMS target speed changes to Mach 0.60 at approximately flight level 350. When the aircraft reaches the cruise altitude, the target speed changes to the cruise speed set in the altitude and speed tab in the flight management window. The FMS target speed for the descent is Mach 0.70 until reaching the crossover altitude at flight level 270 and then transitions to 280 knots. The FMS will also comply with any speed restrictions on the arrival as long as they exist in the flight plan. Below 10,000 feet, the target speed will be the speed restriction or 250 knots, whichever is lower. To assist in a smooth transition from the cruise speed to the final approach speed, the FMS speed gradually decreases as the aircraft enters the approach phase. The aircraft enters the approach phase when within 20 miles of the destination runway and the altitude is less than 5,500 feet above the destination, or the aircraft is less than 5 miles from the first approach waypoint, or when either the flaps are extended or the landing gear is lowered. When the aircraft is in the approach phase, the target speed changes to 180 knots. When flaps 8 is selected, the target speed is reduced to 150 knots. When flaps 15 is selected, the target speed is 135 knots. And the final target speed is 106 knots for flaps 33. In the event of a go-around, the FMS target speed also changes with flap position. During the initial go-around with the flaps at 33, the FMS target speed is 116 knots. As the flaps are retracted, the target speeds increase up to 170 knots with flap zero. As always, the pilot can select a manual speed at any time. The FMS managed speed on the Pilatus PC24 is a powerful tool which provides a high level of automation and reduces workload. 
but it is vital that there is a thorough understanding of the system and how it functions before using it.